This is big guys. Just munch that air jig. Oh, that's a hog. That is a hog. Oh, don't get in the motor. Guys, we are back. Back in Northwest Ontario. New day, new vlog, and uh, I forgot my audio stuff today. I forgot my mic, I forgot my shotgun mic. I kind of screwed up, but I thought, you know what? We're gonna make a video anyways. Sorry about the bad audio, but today is an exciting day. I added something to my lineup, to my arsenal, and that is a fishing kayak. Right here, we have a 12 foot beast of a fishing machine. I've never fished off a kayak before. Today's gonna be the first, but to all you kayak purists out there, this ain't your normal kayak. We rigged 55 pound power drive on the front and I'm gonna paddle as little as possible. Anyways, never had this thing in the water before, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna rig the motor, electronics, anything. I'm gonna just take it out right now. I'm gonna see how tippy it is. That is gonna be the first thing to do. I'm not gonna try to tip it, but I'm gonna see how far I can lean. Um, and then we'll get it rigged up and see if we can catch some smallies because I don't want to just go paddle. We want to catch some fish out of this thing and we got a couple hours tonight to make that happen. Step number one is the trolling motor. Quick release bracket is a must for something like this. 55 pound thrust is nice and light. It's slightly lighter than the bigger brother, the Trova. 55 is gonna rip this yak around. I don't wanna paddle at all. Physical fitness is not something that interests me. On this power drive, we have the ProNav mounted. And I've talked about the ProNav in a previous video, the pike fishing video, I will link it above. Basically what ProNav is gonna do is it's gonna make kayak fishing so much easier. I will be able to set routes. I'll be able to lock on the spot. It's, it's got all the features. So it takes this basic power drive, supercharges it, and that's what we're using on here. That's that little device. I'll, I'll show you more once I have it hooked up. But for now, I've got a mess of cables in here. We're gonna rig this all together. I'll show you guys a little more in-depth rigging once we're done fishing. All right, I got this handy dandy box. It's gonna get mounted into the back here. And this is my battery. This is the Dakota Lithium 50 amp, 50 amp hour. I wanna make sure I say this right. This thing is basically half the weight and twice the power of your conventional lead acid. Like it's a must for something like this where weight is so important and where not paddling is so important. So this actually fits perfectly in this housing. And by housing, I mean this tackle box. And soon we're gonna be fishing. Got a handy dandy little tackle tray down here. This is what I'm gonna to use to power my fish finder. I'm gonna have a Helix 12, this power box. It's got a lithium battery on the inside. This ran my Helix 9 the other day for 12 hours. So super light, nice and small. Okay, I think we are all set up. This is my first time doing it, so I'm making sure everything's right. But I'm gonna give you guys one quick look before we hit the water. And I think I know what kayak fishing is gonna teach me. It's gonna teach me to simplify my gear. And that is something I always take way too much gear, camera gear, fishing gear. So this is what we got right now. 55 pound Minn Kota power drive on the front with the ProNav Helix 12, probably overkill. I think a nine would be perfect for this, but whatever, all the wiring is buried in here, sent to the back in our little caddy. We have phone, we've got plastic, we've got that big old Dakota lithium battery. I'm gonna be upgrading to an even bigger battery yet. Um, that'll be good for now. Safety kit with some tools. My Garmin in reach, uh, extra battery pack. One rod, one seven and a half foot spinning rod, my paddle. Always wear your life jacket. I, I think that's it, I think we're gonna push off. Uh, I'm gonna put this camera away until I'm feeling comfortable and we're gonna go hopefully catch some smallies. All right, lock the truck. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is comfy. This is good. All right, guys, I'm gonna put the trolling motor in now. All right, trolling motor is deployed. Unreal. <laughs> Using my phone. Unreal. Un-freaking real. Look how responsive this is. Okay, uh, incredible. Water's 60 degrees, so bass could be bedding already. I'm gonna run shoreline now and see if I can see any bass in the shallows. I see some rock up there. 
All right, first impressions of kayak fishing. I haven't even taken a cast yet. The trolling motor on the front makes it so good. Like th the fact that I could stand and just look for beds in the shallows, so sweet. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted a kayak is there are so many small lakes around Kenora and in Manitoba as well, but so many tiny lakes that don't have proper access. And the kayak is perfect because you can dump it off on the side of the road. You don't need a nice launch. Um, would I rather be fishing on my big boat? Absolutely. But the chance to fish a lake that normally doesn't get fished, to fish those untouched gems, I think this is gonna be a major tool, something different. Obviously, I can only do it by myself, but just to throw in the back of the truck and go out, uh, yeah, things are good. So I'm gonna get a rod rigged up. I'm probably gonna tie up a hair jig. I think these fish are gonna be pre-spawn or very close to the spawn. Um, but we'll get one rod ready. I'm gonna keep cruising and take a couple casts, see what happens. Oh, there's a fish, 100% a fish. There's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. First fish in the kayak. Unreal. Target species acquired. We did it. Not big by any means, but lake I've never fished before. So that fish was on the deepest shoreline we fished yet. There's one. Oh, that's big. That's a big smallie. Oh boy. Oh boy. I get my phone out of my pocket. Oh man. This is big. This is big. This is big, guys. Just munch that air jig. Oh, that's a hog. That is a hog. Oh, don't get in the motor. Come on, maybe I got a light line on here. Oh, I don't want to tip the kayak. I don't know how far I can lean. Oh, yes. Yes. Guys, look at that Northwest Ontario small. I'm going to put that guy on the scale. That is a hog. Hog! It's going to be pretty dang close to four. Four in this neck of the woods is a giant. Three and a half. I'll take it. Guys, look at that blimp. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. I apologize for the wind noise. Just an eighth ounce. This is an Acme Marabou jig. Easy to tie your own if you want to get into it. Pre ties are nice as well if you don't have time to tie them. Small, small little black. Looks like a leech. And all I'm doing, I'm gonna cast back to where I hooked that one. Is casting out and just doing a straight retrieve in. There's a fish. It's a decent one. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so this is the part that I'm trying to learn. How far can I lean without wrecking my date? There we go. Hooked in the top. That fish was not getting off. Boom, another one. So I wish I could say I have a pattern right now, but I'm kind of just cruising. Getting a lay of the land, looking for beds. Fan casting all around here. I haven't seen anything too specific yet. Saw that one fish that I think was on a bed, but I think they're just not quite there yet. This is more like the shoreline I think they're gonna be on right now. Rocky intermediate slope. Man, this looks fishy. There's a giant, giant bass just followed me. Absolute monster. That fish was somewhere in here. Oh, that was big. Oh, that was him. That was him. That was him. He just ate it. He just ate it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I got him. I got him. Oh, he must have been on a bed. Oh my goodness. That's a big fish. Pulled out the 5D. I wanted a better shot of this big one since this is the biggest of the day. And we will see if I can land it. Unreal. Guys, I am officially a fan 
the kayak fishing. If it's gonna mean big fish, I will fish in a dinky little kayak. I thought this was a monster, still a very nice smallmouth. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, this is the first of many videos in the kayak. This has been a blast so far. Northwest Ontario Smallies, they are in every lake around here. If you don't have a kayak, you can use a canoe. It doesn't take much to catch a bunch of fish like that. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry about the bad audio on this one and uh, the lack of cinematic production, but sometimes I just wanna go out and get a quick video and today this kayak video had been on my list for a while. I will link the, is that a fish? Uh, <laughs> I will link the gear below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.